Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Print Dry Pro 3. I picked this up for a specific reason, and it's this big guy right over here. Okay, so people are printing things larger and larger these days. You've got that crazy uh, Elegoo, you know, Giga printer that people are having all kinds of problems with, but they can make these gigantic prints if they can get it to work. I myself have a uh, Neptune 3 uh, Max that I love. It's a workhorse. It's a 420 by 420 by 500. So it can get some pretty big prints off. Now the problem I have is, I hate having to switch spools out constantly. So I would pick up a uh, 5K spool, that's what this is if you've never seen one. It's still wrapped because I haven't gotten a chance to load it into this yet, I wanted to wait for the video. But this is a 5K spool. So you can do these huge prints and not have to worry about swapping the filament all the time. But the problem is, it's humid in my basement, that's where my workshop is, that's where all my printers are. I do run a humidifier down, dehumidifier down here, but you know, still, it's, this stuff's gonna suck up a lot of moisture. And that's some of the problem I was having before when I would just hang this up from a hook, like a little thing I rigged up on my ceiling over the printer, is as the months would go by, you know, the prints would start to get a little, you know, they wouldn't be looking as good because the, the filament was sucking in all that moisture. So I wanted to find a print dryer that would hold a 5k spool and that's the print dry uh pro 3 i picked this up myself they didn't send this to me for free or anything uh, i just wanted to have some place to be able to keep these huge spools dry so they'll be drying as i'm printing uh and i can you know sh you know turn it on again to sort of dry it out before i print again to uh get these big prints now the dryer itself is pretty cool. Uh, I've used it with some uh, just regular 1K spools. It'll hold two. Uh, it comes with, I haven't had to use these, but it comes with um, um, some full of its spool holders. Uh, it's a sort of, if your, your spools aren't big enough, I wanted to sort of take it apart so you can see. This you gotta put in, you gotta make sure you put in uh, over the heating unit. It just sort of absorbs some of the heat and dissipates it and makes sure you don't have that hot air blowing right on your filament. This is if you're just running one piece of, uh, one roll of filament in there, you'd put that in. Uh, but again, I'm using it mostly for this, so I'm gonna actually be putting this in it uh, tonight and starting some really big prints I'm working on. One thing, now, what do you get with this? Okay, so if you wanna do a 5K spool, you get this configuration, which is uh, big enough to hold two 1K rolls. You also get a 1K uh, Tupperware holder here. Now it's uh, got a nice rubber grommet on here. Uh, you can't take the air out of it. They do sell those that you can like vacuum pump the air out. Uh, but it's neat that this is in here because I can just put some other filament that I have in there. They do sell a 5K one if you're gonna be sort of swapping 5Ks out. I just print PLA with 5K, I don't bother with anything else, so I'm gonna leave this in here and then dry it when I need to. Now, you pick this up, and I believe this was 199, and then um, you need to pick up the uh, attachment that'll let you do the 5K spools. And this is just really another tray, but it's sort of, um, it'll sit in the middle of these and has a rod that comes with it. So what you'll do is you take this off, Right, put this on, back in. Then you'll put this here, and then this one on top of it. And that will hold this monster and dry it. And this, I think, if you are doing these gigantic prints and you are gonna be doing them and you're not at home maybe when it runs out, yes, you can just the filament runout sensor and then wheel it on. But when I do print with this stuff, I can just let it, it will run for five days and this thing won't even look like it moved. So 
These are great if you're doing huge prints. Features wise, it's pretty simple. It kind of reminds me of the fix dry. I did a review on that. You can see it in one of these links over here. It's pretty simple. You set the temperature, you set the time. There's no presets like on the Sunlu and some other ones. Uh, what I do like is it put the um, sort of drying times and temperatures on a little uh, metallic sticker right here. And I do like that because then I can just look it up right on here. Whereas the fixed dry, uh, I've had to sort of keep the book near it so I would know what those were. So that's pretty neat. Other than that, it's really super simple. You literally hit start, set your temperature, set your uh, time, and it does its job. So um, I am going to tonight load this up and start running prints after this dries. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, uh, links are below. Um, again, these aren't affiliate links. These are just, I bought this and uh, uh, I'm enjoying it just because it, it's a good print dryer and it does the job that I needed to do. It is huge, but then again, so is this monster. Um, so I've got to reconfigure uh, one of my tables back there to be able to fit all this stuff. But I'm really excited to now know that my prints uh, are going to be nice and clean because the film will be nice and dry. So that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Just a quick, this is a new thing that I think people really should think about going towards if you're printing large, large prints uh, on an FDM printer. Uh, I have found that I never used to use a dryer. I would always poo-poo a dryer. Um, and I started using one because uh, Fixed Dry sent me one. And I've noticed an incredible uh, improvement in my prints. And it's because the basement is, it's dry but it's still, it's humid, it's a basement. So um, it has made just, my prints look so much better. So I'm really hoping um, that this will be the final piece I need to get this 5K spool rolling and print these gigantic models on that Neptune Mac. Now, what are the two huge prints I'm gonna be doing? One is something I've been wanting to work on for a long time. A lot of you are saying, Kevin, don't you have a lot of prints you should be finishing? Yes, of course I do. But it takes a while to print this stuff, so I'm going to start printing them now. So one project is going to be a Ghostbusters proton pack and wand from the original Ghostbusters. Crazy looking forward to that. That'll be a series we'll be working on. And then the second one is a life-size uh, print of the Lawgiver from Planet of the Apes, the original series back in the... Um, back in the day there in the 70s that I love. It's one of my favorite movie franchises. And it is a full-size lawgiver. My wife, not, you know, she just keeps asking where I'm gonna put it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think about these things. I'm working on a full-size uh, Han Solo. I don't think I've even announced or did a video for it yet. That's in the garage. It's not done yet. Where is it gonna go? I have no idea. I'll figure that out later. But um, these two prints are going to be really, really exciting. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and have a great day.